بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبي وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اي الاحباب شرك is the greatest sin that we could do and shirk it negates if it is a major shirk and you have left the fold of Islam it will negate everything good that you did and if it's the minor shirk or it took place in a particular act of ibadah and it was the minor shirk it will negate that act of ibadah meaning it will not erase all of your other deeds but the act that you did that if you committed the minor shirk showing off during your prayer especially if it was in the beginning of the uh, in the beginning of the prayer or at the very end of the prayer you ended in in, in riyah showing off then this will negate that salat completely and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem inna allah la in Allah la yaghfiru an yushrik bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika liman yasha Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in kitabih al-kareem verily Allah does not forgive that you commit shirk with him but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases an abi huraira an abi huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu marfu'an قال 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 الله تعالى أن أنا أغنى شركاء عن الشرك من عمل عملا أشرك معي فيه غيري تركته وشركه رواه مسلم إن حديث صحيح مسلم عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه that the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said that Allah the Almighty said Hadith Qudsi I am the most free or self-sufficient from shirk not in need of it whoever does a deed and he commits shirk in it with me then I've left him and I've left his shirk his association and this is collected as Sahih Muslim. Ayyul Ahbab, we have to strive our best to avoid shirk, to avoid showing off, to avoid doing things to be heard, especially with relate to ibadah. And may Allah protect us from it. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu staghfiruka liman a'lamu. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam gave us a beautiful dua which means, O oh Allah, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika, I seek refuge in you. And ushrika bika. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushrika bika. I seek refuge in you from committing shirk with you. Wa ana a'lamu wa staghfiruka lima al'alamu. From those things I do knowingly, and I, and I seek forgiveness from you from that for which I do unknowingly. That is a beautiful supplication. That we should learn it in order to help us protect ourselves from shirk and free ourselves from shirk. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our good deeds. And forgive us for any and all minor and major shirk that we may have fallen into. Because it's easy to, to do it. And this is why the ulama, they even mention, you know, the, 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 that one, that's one of the, the Salaf used to speak about, that's one of the most difficult things that they faced. It's trying to be sincere in their dawah, sincere in whatever they're doing, in their righteous deeds. The Salaf were so meticulous about this, about the sincerity to Allah having ikhlas, that even some of the Sahaba and Tabi'een, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een, in a very long hadith was mentioning one of them he, he, he said so 
what were you doing last night? And he said, basically that he went out to look up at the sky or something like this. And in fact, he, he used that to say, to, to, to make sure that he wasn't showing off because he was doing Qiyam al Because this was the adha, this was the habit of the Salaf of this Ummah. They used to have Ibadah, strong Ibadah, Lillah. And they used to try to free themselves from shirk because it could happen to any of us. Imam Malik was said, uh, it was said that he, when he was teaching, sometimes he would stop, or at least in this narration, and he was moving his lips in front of probably hundreds or thousands of students in the Haram, in the Prophet Wasallam's Masjid, teaching the people, probably teaching the people fiqh from Muwatta, uh, Imam Malik, or whatever he was teaching. Rahimahullah Ta'ala. May Allah bless him with Jannah to produce. And he stopped and he was moving his lips and looking down. And one of his students said, you know, Ya Imam, you know, basically what, what's going on? I'm giving you a paraphrase of it. And he said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, I was repurifying my niyyah, my intention. You know, I was trying to get back on track. Because you can imagine if you had hundreds or thousands of students around you with some of some of our ulama, especially the major scholars, they have this, these kind of things. They're in gatherings, a thousand. Sheikh Salim bin Fozan speaks in his masjid, you know, how many people come for Juma and, and, and just in general in his durus, Sheikh Abdul Masin, in the Haram. How many, you know, you, you have at least, I've seen with my own eyes, a thousand or, uh, you know, probably six, seven hundred students. Sheikh Muhammad Mukhtar Shantiti, definitely a thousand students in like this in his gatherings, his regular durus. So that takes always they they are human beings and they struggle with that as well. The point is to struggle with it, never succumb to shirk and showing off and seeking fame, especially at the expense of this religion. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah forgive us. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and usurika bika. Wa ana alamu astaghfiruk limal alamu. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.